Hello everyone. This is Shweta. Welcome to the Innovative Offices. Today I will demonstrate you to show how we can add row in our the add table gallery. So here you can see I have a gallery where data is coming from this drop down. So this I have list and here I am going to show that if the item is selected, the gallery is showing that record. Now, if I want to, there's a three rows showing because the for the chocolate, there's a three data is there. So, if we want to add a new fourth row, so I will click on this add new. and quantity is six. Now I will save. You can see it goes save. And uh, suppose I change here quantity eight, and then I again do save. So you can see. So let's see how we can achieve this functionality. I have a screen over here. In this screen, I will add one drop down. I have also one another screen from where data is coming. You can see there's a two rows for this. So I will connect my data source to my product table. Now I need to add one gallery over here. I will remove all the things. And then I will add two text box. On change of this drop down, I will create one collection. Clear collect for my new item. Quantity, which is our data source name. Filter quantity, their title is equal to uh, drop down self dot selected dot Now here, default is this item dot title. So this gallery, I will create data source for my new item. And here, I will give this item dot title. And next is this item dot quantity. Yes. Now, okay. Yeah. 
Now you can see if I am selecting chocolate, then all the records going to show the chocolate. If I do for the Maggi, it will show the Maggi record. Now I want to add one more for this gallery. So for that, what I will do, I will do one button over here. Add item. Variable over here. Update context. I will copy the label name. I am going to add one form here. Connect this form with the quantity table. I will remove this content type. The visible, pro uh, let me make it form mode as new. Variable which I have created on the add items property, add items for select. I will pass that variable name inside this variable, inside the visible property of this form. Same for that, I will add one more button over here. And on this page, on select, I will add the form data into this collection. So I'm going to use the collect function collect for my new item where. Uh, Item dot text next is quantity is my data card value four one. No data was the collection. We will reset this form. My form two. Yeah. Now let me show you. I'm doing so. It gets added, but if I am removing this three to eight, and then I am adding this to uh, calculate. Yeah, it's getting added. Also, we need to remember that if we are doing any changes over here, so, so at a time of playing mode, on the on-chain property of this text input, you can update 
the item tag call my new items this item Same we will do for the title. Instead of quantity, we will put in there as a title. That is the functionality of the add item in gallery. To make sure when we are using the add items into the gallery, yeah. so to follow, uh, when we are using the add row functionality in the gallery, it is better that we can use the collection instead of that data source because sometimes uh, when we are collecting the value of the drop down, it is not getting, uh, it's getting auto refreshed where if you change the quantity here or the title here, then you go to the save and it's uh, it is not uh, not updating in the not collecting in the collection it is directly added to the data source then what will happen it will give you the uh, like the previous value in quantity or title so it's better to use collections over here